Alright guys, so this is the next video in the uh, Model Railroad signaling series that Josh Clark, uh, better known as NS Modeler 24, is putting onto YouTube. Um, my name is Grayson Moore, uh, I go by GTI 6 Speed, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this part for Josh, um, showing more of the computer side of things and how you set up the CATS and the JMRI and how it all works. Um, so I'm going to try to divide this, this little part up into about three videos, three or four videos. Um, hopefully I can condense it all into that, but um, right now I'm just going to give you an overview on this part, uh, how to install JMRI and how to install CATS, because installing both these programs and uh, making sure they work properly is absolutely crucial to making sure that you get the uh, best experience possible if you're using CATS and JMRI for signaling. Okay, so first things first, you can't do anything unless you have Java, so if you go to the Java website, um, you can download it there. Uh, I would be very surprised if your computer doesn't have Java considering most, not most programs, but a lot of programs need Java to work. So just in case you don't have it, you know, you can go check um, and download the latest version. So I'll take care of that. Okay, and then the next program you're going to need is JMRI. Now, you can get JMRI for free. It's called Java Model Railroad Interface. It's coded in Java, obviously. And it, it's a free open source program that anyone can download, and it contains several features that you can use for your model railroad um, as a computer interface with your computer. And it's a real helpful program. It has a lot of things that you may not find useful, and it has a lot of things you may find useful. So you can go to the JMRI website here, and you see there's a few different releases. Um, here's the latest stable release. It's 3.1.0 or 3.10. And then you have the latest development version, which is basically beta, it's 3.9.7. Either one will work. Uh, I've been using the development version now for about two weeks, and I have, haven't had any issues with CATS, although the latest release of CATS says it is only compatible with 3.1. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Either one works fine. So you can just go to the, the page here and scroll down, and you'll find either the Mac download or the Windows download. I don't think CATS works on Linux, so if you have a Linux system, uh, I can't help you there. You're out of luck. Now, I can't really help you with Mac either. I'm not sure exactly how everything works with Mac, but um, if you have Windows, there you go. Let's just download that and install it, and do install it to the default location. This is important later on, and uh, I'll get to that in a minute, but you can go download that and install it, and again, you must have Java. This won't even install unless you have Java on your computer. Okay, so the next program, program you're going to need is CATS. Um, CAT stands for Crandic Automated Traffic System, and they have a little website here. Okay, the website looks a little bit plain, but don't worry, um, the program is very good. Uh, just a little bit of background, it's made by a guy named, not actually sure, what is it? Anyways, Pat, Pat Lana, there you go. I assume he wrote it, whatever. Anyways, this guy made this program himself. It contains about 12,000 lines of code, um, and it works pretty well. There's a few bugs in it, but for the most part, if you want a simple point-and-click CTC interface or signaling interface, it works very well. And uh, it basically piggybacks off of JMRI, so you get all the great features of JMRI, plus this awesome modernized uh, uh, signaling system. So you scroll down to the bottom of the page here. You'll find a link that says License and Software. You're going to click on that and scroll down. And you're going to see this link that says Ex Executables Compatible with JMRI uh, 3.3.1. Um, actually, I lied to you earlier. 3.3, not 3.1. Anyways, um, you can go ahead and download this. It's going to download a, a, a zip file. And if you view that, you can see here uh, that it's just a zip file. You can go ahead and extract it. And here you've got the... Uh, the extracted folder and within here you've got five core files that you're going to need to copy over to your JMRI directory so I'm going to open up another window here guys um, navigate to JMRI alright so you've got the cats batch file the cats jar file the designer batch the designer jar and the Windows 7 batch um, those five files you absolutely have to have to get JMRI to work, so you're just going to go ahead and either cut or copy those over into the main or the root JMRI directory. Um, uh, one other thing, if you have a 64-bit system, JMRI is going to install in the uh, program files times 86 folder. 
Uh, if you have a 32-bit system, it's just going to install on the only one that sh should show up on your computer, which is the pr plain program files folder. For a 64-bit system, uh, the one without the times 86 designates 64-bit compatible programs, while the times 86 designates only 32-bit compatible programs. So you can go underneath here. There's JMRI. Copy it in there. Paste it in there. That's good enough. Okay, the next thing you're going to need to do is go to the internet and download edit pad pro okay this is a free well free is in trial version um it's actually a paid program but you can get it the trial version right here go ahead and download that and install that you're going to need this and the reason is is when you download cats the batch files to open the program don't point to the right location and what i mean by this is what i'm about to show you so here we've got the unedited version that I just downloaded off the internet on the left hand side and we have the version that I have set up on the right hand side. So as you can see here, the target directory is incorrect for where the JMRI, or JMRI program is located. Since I have a 64-bit system, the JMRI program installs in the times 86 program files folder. So you're going to have to go into EditPad Pro, take it off of read only. Um, you can mess around with that, you'll figure that out and uh, make it to where you can edit it and then you're going to go ahead and uh, edit the path to make sure that it's pointing to the correct location for where JMRI is installed on your computer um, and the cats batch file is the easiest one to do typically that's all you're going to have to change uh, if you didn't listen to me earlier and you installed JMRI in another location you're going to have to to play around with that and you know try to get it correct um, so that'll take care of the main program uh, you'll see here that cats doesn't run Number one, it's not in the right location, and number two, it's not the right, um, doesn't have the right directory. And so, the next thing you're going to want to do is you can open up the designer here. Uh, I use the Windows 7 designer, I don't even mess with the other designer, but go ahead and put it in the JMRI folder just in case. Okay, so on the left, you can see here um, it is pointing to the right location, but it's pointing to the wrong Java folder. Um, if you have the latest version of Java, chances are it's going to be that, but you can check it. It's installed under the 32-bit program files folder as well, I believe. You can go and check, but just uh, make sure that this right here is changed to the correct folder that your Java folder is named. And then you're going to also have to change this right here. You can see this says log4j.jar. Chances are it's not going to be that. As you can see, mine right here has some uh, added numbers after it. That's not a big deal. You can find out the name of that by going into the JMRI directory, the libraries folder, scroll down, and you're going to find, uh, where is it? Log4. It's going to say log4j no matter what, but it may have some extra numbers after it. That's okay. You can just go to rename. You can control C that, and then you can just paste it into here in edit pad pro and then save it. And that'll take care of your designer and your cat's batch files. And once you do that, you should be able to go into the JMRI directory and click either of them. For example, designer, click it, there it opens. Um, if I had the wrong wrong directory in there, you would click this, the batch file would flash a screen real quick and nothing would happen. It, it, it doesn't open the program. Um, so it's as easy as that, guys. I hope that, uh, hope that went through the install pretty well and I uh, hope it doesn't give you any issues. So uh, stand by for part two.